God a little differently. And right now I'm getting ready to feed my soul in order to be able to feed my soul, but not do food. Um, so I remember being younger and I used to want to be a Rastafari. I didn't know what it meant. I just know it involved religion and it involved marijuana. And I figured if you could put both of those together, then it had to be a, a wonderful spiritual thing. I'm making a joke, but as I started no, no, that's, on no. it, it's, I could touch on that too. Yeah, as I started reading on it, I started actually understanding, oh my God, what I really am thinking is really true. So me, when it comes to spirituality, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, in 2014, 2015, I was involved, I was at the wrong place, wrong time, around the wrong people that involved me getting locked up in a jail cell. Um, during that time though, I was able to really think, think about my life, where I was at. I had just lost my grandmother that December. I had just lost my father that February. So December to February, okay? And then I turned around and I'm out here wilding in the streets, real life. Not even really wilding, but due to what I was going through, it was putting me, I was out there trying to relieve my mind. Let me go to the club. Let me go party. Let me go do this. So this that's party. what I want to ask you. The question I have to ask you, it has uh -huh. everything to do with what you just said. Mm -hmm. So you lost your grandmother mm -hmm. and you lost your father. Uh -huh. When did you lose yourself? Before that. <laughs> so that. that didn't have anything to do uh -uh. like you brought them up and you know as humans we usually do that so people can sympathize and, and understand our story oh. on how we're feeling at the moment but this the, is why i really introduced them though because before that, why, i had lost myself but i felt like they oh. was holding me up if that makes sense i was already weak in the knees but but you I felt like they, i got weaker or, Keeping I had my you. backbones. Yeah. They gave me something. Yeah, I had my son at the same time too. But but I was lost before then. It was choices that I was making. Um, it was a how um, lost were uh, after one more time. Um how lost were you after? After I was extremely lost. Matter of fact, I felt blind. Um, I had a really great job. I quit my job. I ended up losing my car. And saying all this to say, once again, I was lost before, but that right there, it's like it snatched the, you see people, they do this trick where the dinner table is set up. And they they steal your joy. The, yeah, you like they snatch the, the tablecloth, but the stuff is still standing. Well, when they yeah. snatch my tablecloth, everything on the table yeah. back front like that. Okay. But what it did was it put me in reality. Mm -hmm. Okay. It put me in reality uh, because I, I like that analogy just used to the analogy was fire. Yeah, it put me in reality because and I look at things a lot different than some people. So me personally, now I have eyes on me all the time. My grandma, my dad. Okay. Okay, so how's the how's the way that you feel that you look at things differently than some people? Well, a lot of times when I speak on stuff, people quote unquote correct me based off of the way that they say. I'll give you a prime example. <clears throat> I was praying one day. I was going through something I used to call my uncle, who was very religious. And I was praying. And y'all probably can touch on this just because it is in the Bible, it says what it says. And at the end of my prayer, I said, and, and uh, thank you, God, in your name, I pray. My uncle said, oh, what did you say? What did you say? And I said, what? I was praying. He said, in God's name, God cannot hear you if you do not come through Jesus Christ. Okay. okay. So the way I start every prayer, Crow, you know this. There's been times I've called him at six in the morning and said, hey, my father told me to call you and let's pray. And he's like, you know, I needed that. Mm -hmm. So I start mm -hmm. everyone with Heavenly Father, I come to you through the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the thing is, the reason why, and I'm also going, when, okay, I'm going to let you finish. I'm trying to put a pin in it because I don't want to interrupt with you, your point. So go ahead and finish. And, but what I'm about to touch on with it, remind me to touch on prayer. And 
it's going to be, yeah, you're going <laughs> you to love this. Okay, so that's what my uncle had said to me. And I was really confused. I'm like, what do you mean he doesn't hear me? So, of course, he told me, pull up the Bible right now. Everybody, you can pull it up on your phone. Pull it up right now. He told me the exact chapter, uh, excuse me, the exact book, chapter, verse. And he said, now read it out loud to me. If you know my uncle, <laughs> just know he is ready for a good debate. Okay. So he said, now your family? Loud. Excuse me. Yes, I'm not family. I'm saying, are y'all family? You and Crow? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I heard you say my cousin Crow earlier, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. And you so, said North Carolina. I know he a North Carolinian. Yes. North okay, Carolina. go ahead. Yeah. I know, that's not a word. I made it up. I don't give a uh, two, it, nothing. Okay. North Carolina, I, I rock with that. You <laughs> like it though, right? North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah, 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 you like it. it. <laughs> hey, man, you gotta start using that. Don't be taking my stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to tell them I'm ready to make me a t shirt right now with the right. line here. Oh, no, no. Do you do that? That's I got the machine. I got the printers and everything. That's what I do. Yeah, that's what I do. Hey, we need to talk business. I, I'm oh, we need to talk for a little, uh, like a mentor. I'm gonna tell you, I got a brain. I got a little bit of ADHD. It is what it is, is what God gave to me. But at the end of the day, I use it. I know how to work with it, if that makes sense. So my brain is just always 10 steps ahead. I got my, I just know I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm trying to figure out right now how we gonna get a hemp farm so that once we doggone, um, once, you know, you know, uh, uh, North Carolina crossover to the marijuana farms, we're already having to be ready and don't have to, you know. So I'm always thinking of a, I don't want to say a get rich quick scheme, but I'm always looking for a way out of this. Okay, but going back to what I was saying about my uncle. So he was saying, oh, God can't hear you if you don't pray through Jesus Christ. Now, once again, this is the way I was raised. I was raised Christian. I was brought up Christian. But at the end of the day, let me, before I say that, let me, let me go back a little bit, even more. So, okay. my mom is my a My dad told me, is, my dad told me, and it says it is a he Christian, a father of Christ. Uh -huh. So, I mean, if you are a follower of Christ, then you are a Christian. But okay. I don't believe what are you whenever you believe in Jesus? You also believe in the story of Muhammad. You also may even believe in the Jews, excuse me, the story that the, the, the Jews may believe. What 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 is that what category does that put you in? Because me personally, um okay, let me let me just say this. Let me touch on this. So boom. You are a realist. Um, let me you said what now? A realist. A realist, okay. See, so, I'm a I deal with real reality and I would find center. Hey, Crow. I uh, think you something because I'm. Are you breaking up again? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you hear me better now? Yes, yes. All right, yes. cool. All right, so like, okay, um, so what your uncle said, I understand, but he, what people have a problem with is acting and thinking that their relationship mm -hmm. God should be your relationship mm -hmm. with God. and everybody has their own mm -hmm. relationship and so that is why he said when you pray he says uh, this is Matthew 5 he says for I was saying to you now the word but does what? Uh, change the direction most of the time. Exactly. That's what it does. The word but, he said, when you, when most, he said, when in times of old, when they pray, they, it said, what I, in times of old, an eye for an eye, two for a two, but I say unto you, but I say unto you, that whosoever 
causes harm to you, you turn your other cheek, right? Mm -hmm. So that he's changing the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Now, it says the Pharisees think that they will receive their blessings because they are in the open and praying in front of all these people. Mm -hmm. He said, but I say unto you, when you pray, you go into your room or closet and you pray mm -hmm. to your father for your reward. Your reward comes from your father in heaven. Mm -hmm. He says, for I say that they surely have their reward. Now, the thing is, their reward is from man. Now, with your prayer, see, your uncle didn't touch on this, but I'm, uh, matter of fact, I'm sorry. I came back in and I just started going. So you can go ahead and finish saying what you were going to say. I'm just trying to, before I forget it, I smoke a lot of trees. Oh, and, I'm trying to right now, but I feel you. Uh, no, sorry, uh, I'm about to roll. <laughs> but the, oh, by the way, on that, if anybody ever has anything to say to you about that, um, Genesis 1, uh, God created every plant bearing seed. And oh, uh, what about Psalms? Is it 104, 14? He who maketh the grass grow for the cattle and the earth for the service of man, so that he may bring forth food from the earth. 